Welcome to the reading. So this reading will be for Holly Bailey and DDG. <laughs> so like, it's fascinating because um, she's been in this relationship with this guy. And people are saying that it's not a good look for her because some people say that it's obvious that he's disrespecting her by like cheating on her because um, evidently he has um, a female, a groupie, I don't know what you would call her, that's kind of just like putting out messages that like basically this guy wants um, her instead of Holly and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just going to be looking into their relationship to see like what's up, how, how is Holly uh, feeling? Like is this DDG guy, is he actually cheating on her? But let me pick up Holly's energy at this moment in time. What can we see? Actually, I'm drawn to choose from this deck. So let's see. What can we see about her energy? What's going on with that? She's not feeling peaceful at this moment. <laughs> She's not feeling peaceful at all. Because this is the We Are The World card. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like when you're feeling uh, corny inside, you're feeling like all like happy and like you want the best for the world. It's in reverse. So what's being indicated to me is that she's a bit, I'm going to just call it as I get it. She's a little depressed at this moment. I'm definitely picking up depressed energy because the vibe that I'm getting is that like she was feeling really good. She was really happy as far as like this guy is concerned. But as things are starting to play out, she's starting to get a little bit bitter. What else can we see about this situation? Very tragic and sad. This is all intense for her. The emotions. The way that she feels about this guy. This relationship. Not just that, since this is the world card. It reflects um, sort of just like her standing in life, people's perceptions of her. So that's on her mind. What else can we see about her vibe? Very interesting. interesting because this speaks of distance right distance in the relationship it's kind of just like i'm getting a vibe of like will you forgive me is what i'm seeing it's kind of just like she turns away from him where it's kind of just like she doesn't want to deal with him but then it's like he tells her a bunch of sweet nothings because the frog it represents kind of just like especially like in relationship situations it represents kind of just like a guy trying to tell you like what he thinks you want to hear. You know what I mean? A guy trying to be charming. Because like if you know anything about this fairy tale, it represents like a lady basically kissing a frog so he can return back to normal into a human type shit. <laughs> so it has to do with the guy's benefit. He wants to benefit from this situation, right? It's a, hes a hectic situation for her is what I'm seeing. But it's kind of just like she has a situation with um, letting him go. Not just that, she is hopeful. That's what I'm seeing. She is hopeful with this situation. So it's kind of just like she's not feeling it. She's not in a good place. But at the same time, she is hopeful. Not just that, she is taking shots for now with this ace of challenges. You know what I mean? People are directing a lot of things her way, opinions. You know, because it's kind of just like arrows can also represent um, opinions. It can like represent taking uh, damage. But for her, she's not letting it affect her. Yeah, she's in her mind about things, but she's not letting it um, affect her. You see, like she grabbed it. So it's kind of just like people are trying to bring her down during this moment. But she does care about this guy, obviously. And it's kind of just like this is just a tough situation. I'm going to be picking up his energy. So let me put these cards up and let me see. And I'm going to be asking, like, has he cheated on her and all that? But what can I see about his energy? What's going on with his vibe during this time? Ooh, okay. So two cards came out. He's dealing with a strong lady. 
And it's interesting because I'm seeing multiple females. He's definitely dealing with multiple females at this moment in time. I know it's one lady here, but it's kind of just like the Queen of Wands can represent someone that's a tomboy. Um, it's kind of just like an Aries female type energy. Like if you guys know anything about like Aries females, they usually don't let things affect them. And that's the vibe that I'm getting. I'm not saying that any of these ladies are Aries, but I'm just saying like that's the energy that I'm getting. It's kind of just like, okay, yeah, there's people saying things about like what can possibly be happening with like things in their vibe, their relationship, their situation. But I'm seeing that they're not letting it get to them. Yeah, it's agitating, but it's kind of just like whatever, like I have a go, like I'm in my boss mode <laughs> but with this magician in reverse this is affecting his work this is affecting his creativity not just that this is affecting sort of just like i don't want to say it because it sounds corny but kind of just like him being a celebrity and all you know what i mean he's getting a lot of bad feedback that's definitely getting to him so it's kind of like the females in this situation because this is obviously like some type of love tri love triangle the, fem the ladies, they're strong. The women, they're strong. But this guy, I'm seeing a lack of strength. What else can I see as far as the situation? There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets with this situation. With this lock and key. Secrets. Things than what's being um, talked about. I'm getting a lot of secrets. I'm getting a lot of secrets. Not just that third party situations. Because <laughs> like, it's kind of like giving me kind of like a lot of insight, right? Because I was going to ask like, was he cheating and all of that? But it's basically showing like what's happening. Because if you see this is a player third party situation, I choose them. So it's kind of like, this is more than the whole Ruby Rose. This is more than the whole Holly uh, Bailey situation. There's other ladies involved in this situation, this third party situation. Not just that, they are giving him shit as far as like um, Holly with this um, unequal give and take. She's just like, dude, you know what I mean? Like, I'm really going hard for you. I'm making myself look stupid. Like, how come I'm not receiving that back from you? So it's kind of just like, he tries to show that he cares. Not because he really cares, but just because he's not strong enough to kind of be like, I don't really give a shit. Like, you know, this is just like me having fun. Like, either you take it or you leave it. It's a guy that's kind of just, like, insecure. It's like, yeah, he wants to be a player. Yeah, he wants to, like, have that sort of energy or play that game, basically. But he's not necessarily strong enough for it. So I'm seeing that, yeah, he is definitely cheating on um, <laughs> Holly. <laughs> and this guy's definitely shady. And it's a lot of secrets with their situation. Let me just ask, how is this going to affect her brand, right? Because we know that, like, her and her sister, they're not really getting good publicity. Like, currently, with the whole uh, Chris Brown situation. And now, like, this guy making um, Holly look like a fool. How will this affect, like, her business? You know what I mean? Her career. This is not good for her image. At least, I don't think it is. But let's see. She's going to be gaining wisdom. That's what I'm seeing. She's definitely going to be gaining wisdom. This is kind of like a situation where people can relate. So it's kind of just like, yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah, it makes her look stupid. You know, I've never been in a situation like this, obviously. But it's kind of just like people can relate. So it's kind of like, yeah, it might look stupid and it is kind of embarrassing. But I guess a lot of ladies have went through this sort of situation. So it's a situation of like they can relate to it is what I'm seeing. This card's face down, so let's see. It's deep. Yeah, people, they're forgiving. They're not going to be so hardcore about the whole situation. You know, because for me, like logically, I was thinking like, what would this mean? You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like her whole image is about like, kind of like purity, <laughs> if you want to call it that. You know what I mean? With the whole Disney shit. 
Like, yeah, sometimes her and her sister, like, dress up crazy and shit and make, like, kind of, like, intense music sometimes, I guess. But it's kind of just, like, people, they're not innocent. <laughs> so people, their understanding of this situation is what I'm seeing. So it's not going to affect her career. In fact, it's kind of just, like, people are more understanding about it because it's kind of just like, yo, she's young and she's in love, whatever. Let me see, how is he treating her? What can we see about that situation? So thus far, we know that he's um, cheating on her. You know what I mean? Playing games. Let's see how he's uh, treating her. How is this DDG treating um, Holly Bailey? What can we see? A ton of lies. Possibilities that aren't true. Remember how I was telling you kind of just like the frog uh, representing kind of just like a dude telling a chick basically things she wants to hear. That's what I'm seeing with the possibilities, but it's in reverse. So it's kind of just like, he's putting things in her head, you know what I mean? Like trying to make her feel a particular way. Like, yo, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we love each other. Imagine like, you know, if we get over this, like what can be. So that's what I'm seeing. He's basically full of shit. What else can we see regarding this situation? How is he treating her? I'm getting like a gullible, gullible uh, vibe with um, Holly. She's definitely a gullible. Hmm. This is deep because, again, it's kind of just like the pathway of like happiness. If you look at the imagery of this situation. And this is actually the Four of Wands. So it's kind of just like um, the Four of Wands in this deck. So it's kind of just like... He's trying to give off like family vibes. Like we could get married. We could have children. She wants that shit. She likes that shit. But again, the possibilities are in reverse. So it's a shady energy. So what I'm seeing is, is a guy, he's not doing anything harmful. I'm not seeing anything necessarily destructive. I'm not seeing physical abuse. I'm not seeing kind of like overt disrespect like sometimes where guys just don't give a fuck this is a guy that's kind of just like trying to keep things on the low a guy that lies that tries to like butter her up by telling her like you know po the possibilities of what can be and like trying to like provide like happiness and shit home vibes again with this four i know it says four of spells but this four of wands so i mean that's just the vibe let me see what is um her interaction with him what can we see regarding that what is her interaction with him? All right. She wants to heal. She wants to heal. This is all about movement. But if you look at this Six of Swords, yeah, the Six of Swords represents kind of just like moving out of like a tough situation. Sometimes it also represents um, classically kind of like situation that's kind of like not the best for you, right? Because like classically it represents kind of like a person in a boat, but if you look at the boat, the boat has like a hole in it or holes in it. So it represents kind of like self-sabotage, even though like you don't see that with this uh, particular image. This is an image of kind of just like nurturing and shit. She wants to be nurtured, you know what I mean? So it's kind of just like, yeah, she wants to leave because again, this does represent it's moving as well, but it's kind of just like, like movement and shit, traveling from like a tough situation and uh, self-sabotage. But she wants to heal. She wants love. She wants romance. You know what I mean? She's just in that energy. There's nothing wrong with that. We have the Hierophant, though. This is deep, right? If some people say the Hierophant, Hierophant. <laughs> it represents kind of like... <clears throat> what does it represent? I know, like, what it represents, like, internally. But I'm trying to think of, like, the actual word for it. It's kind of like... Um, when you have beliefs, right? It's a name for beliefs. I can't think of it. Kind of just like principles. There you go. She's putting her principles on the line because it's like, how much can you uh, take? She knows that shit's not right because, again, this does represent uh, self-sabotage, but it's kind of just like she really wants this to work. So the fact that the hair font is like sideways, it represents kind of just like your principles not you know, you're not necessarily following through on your principles. That's what I'm seeing. So she puts up a lot with this situation. Yeah, she does complain. Yeah, she makes things obvious. Like, yo, I need to be nurtured. Like, what's going on? 
Like, I'm not happy. But at the same time, she knows that this isn't a good situation for her, but she does want it to work. Let's basically get the end of this situation by seeing, like, what is the fate of this relationship? What can we see? What is the fate of this relationship? Slow and steady. It's always going to be a work in progress. That's what I'm seeing. It's always going to be a work in progress. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like, again, like with the home. I know this is a castle. But again, it's kind of just like that home vibes with like always like promising like marriage, like, you know, commitment, happy happiness. But delays. You know what I mean? Like things needing to be careful because obviously this guy is cheating. You know what I mean? So it's kind of just like always a work in progress. When things are slow and steady, it's always a work in progress. What else can we see about this relationship? All right. Not just that. This DD uh, G guy, including her, it's almost like it's going to get to a point where it's like, how can we exploit this situation? Because like right now, it's like, She's in love. He wants something out of this relationship. That was shown like earlier with the whole frog situation. I'm not going to like repeat that whole situation. But what I'm seeing here with this coin in the well, sort of just like making a wish, trying to exploit this situation for money, trying to exploit sort of just like negative press, all this attention and trying to make coins out of it trying to make money out of it. And I'm seeing that's the fate for like both of them because it's kind of just like slow and steady. It's not going to like turn into into sort of just like anything serious. You know what I mean? It's no uh, major commitment. But what I'm seeing is it's kind of just like that hair font energy that I'm like picking up on actually. It's kind of just like her not listening to her principles her being turned out for sort of just like the money. This is not, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's realistic, you know what I mean? Some people, they kind of just feel like, oh, if I go through shit, then I might as well make money out of it and try to like make something out of it. That's what I see, you know what I mean? But it goes against her principles because that's not like what she's into. But I see that she's going to try to like milk sort of just like this energy as things progress. It's kind of just like, how can I milk sort of just like my pain and suffering, like my long suffering? So it's actually really hilarious, but I'm going to leave this here. Guys, definitely tell me what you thought of this situation and take care. Peace.